What is going on everybody? Welcome to the very next episode of Fui Fishing. Today I got a different video for you guys. I uh, received something in the mail and that was the uh, EOYO underwater camera. This is the entry level model so it's only about $200. And uh, full disclosure, I did get this uh, for free. They did send it, this to me to do a uh, review or just to show you guys what's included. Um, but I am under no contract to have to say really nice things about it. I'm just going to name off all the uh, pros and cons of it. So the first thing, once you open it up, one thing that does kind of worry me is uh, everything that's inside. If you actually do overstack it or if once you close it, and then shake it upside down or bounce around, it might damage the screen so that it does have a little foam piece here just to kind of protect it. But it's just one extra thing to carry. Uh, it's not a deal breaker, it's not too bad. The most important thing is, I would say this this camera, I mean for 200 bucks you have really nothing to lose. It came next day, Amazon shipping. And you, everyone knows Amazon, it's easy to return the product. Um, I'm gonna turn it on right away here just to show you guys. Unfortunately, this one does not record. It's not a DVR included. Uh, it's only a seven inch screen and it's not HD. But for the cost $200 versus many other comparable or competitor brands, uh, let's just say like Markham or Aquaview, you'd be sitting at about $400 for something that would show identical footage, about 480 uh, resolution. It does include a lithium battery uh, and uh, uh, let's see here. Some, the underwater cable, it does have a float. That's if you actually want to set up your camera. So I have it already kind of rigged up right here. Now if you want to set up your camera, you can actually set up the camera. So that way it has a little line and a hook coming out of it and then you can set it up so it sits above your hole with a float. So once a fish bites, it'll it'll pull it down. So you could set it up that way if you like. I probably won't be doing that. Now I'm just gonna toss that aside. It does have a uh, glare, kind of a, what do you call it? A glare visor for the screen. But we're gonna put that aside as well because that's uh, not too, too important for me. We're gonna hook everything up here. Very, very straightforward. So the good part about this is it does come in a hard case. So the hard case is really good for protecting the camera, especially if you're gonna bring it on a snowmobile or, uh, or a sled when it's bouncing around, you don't have to worry about it too much. So it is an IR camera. So you can kind of see, I'm just gonna pan the camera around. You can kind of see right there. It's not too bad. So what, one thing about the camera is when you're looking at it, if you're looking at it and you're sitting at an angle and you're looking at the screen, it is a little bit harder to see. You want to look at it you have to look at it directly at the screen um, just to see properly the thing about it is when you open this case it sits at a perfect 90 degree angle so when it's on the ground when it's on the ground and you're fishing it's going to be quite difficult to see so you actually have to set it up on a bucket or something a little bit higher for you to look at so that's one little thing uh minor minor issue but uh nothing that uh would i would actually uh affect your fishing. Now for $200, I would say it would make a, a good camera, keep kids occupied. Is it the best camera for everyone? I would say no, because some people prefer HD, some people want to record. Uh, who do I think this camera works for? I would say for uh, first time anglers, entry level anglers, or just people that just want to see fish or see the sediment or the ground um, so I would say it's not the best camera but it is usable and it's functionable so 
All right, so the question is, is this camera worth it? In my opinion, for only $200, yes, I do think it's worth it. There is pros and cons to it, but usually cost. The cost trumps everything else. Uh, so more, I would say more so um, pros than cons. There's quite a few people that use it. I mean, of course, everything's gonna have its own issues or separate problems, but it is, sold on Amazon it can be returned on Amazon so stress-free hassle-free um, because it has no DVR unfortunately I can't show you guys any underwater footage with it very clearly um, but yes when when using it underwater I mean it performs just as well as any entry-level uh, camera I would say What's your guys' opinion? Do you guys think this camera's worth it? Comment below. Do you think it's junk? Do you think it's uh, a good value? Let me know in the comments below. And once again, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button, subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time. It's pretty clear, eh? Yeah, it's not bad, actually. Yeah. Thank you.